Bunch of Lance here. Today we are going to be in Yakima, Washington at the Firing Center slash Bullseye Burger slash the Chevron. So Bullseye Burger, which is an awesome restaurant actually located in a gas station. I have been here before and I have done quite a few of their challenges. They have a viral burrito challenge I did, which is amazing. They have a burger challenge, they have a taco challenge, uh, and then they have a torta challenge. So basically for this torta challenge, we're going to have 15 minutes to complete the challenge. Um, I think it is four or five of their large tortas. These things weigh over a pound each. Then you have a serving of refried beans, a serving of Mexican style rice, and you have a giant milkshake. I think it's 32 ounces or something. Um, so it's a lot of food in such a short period of time. If you do complete it, I believe you get $50. That's kind of their standard uh, for a lot of the challenges. So like their burger challenge, their taco challenge as well, 15 minutes. If you do it, you get free meal and $50, five zero, $50, which is really awesome. So I like that, I think that's awesome. So let's go have some fun, let's eat some food. Hopefully we can beat this challenge. It is actually undefeated at the moment. So that, that's about it. I think I get to pick the meats, I get some more info. Let's go eat some food. I love Mexican food. It's legit some of my favorite and uh, I'm pumped, so let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here we are with the torta challenge, guys. Definitely a lot of food. Giant tortas, giant, giant, giant tortas. Um, I went two carne asada. I went two of the pork. They also have jalapenos on here. We have tomatoes. We have onions. We have lettuce. We have guacamole. We have sour cream. Um, then I have a big thing of rice and refried beans. There's also refried beans to all these sandwiches. And then this 32, 32 ounce milkshake. I just went with vanilla because I am pretty plain like that. But that's pretty much it. So uh, let's just get eating. It's a lot of food. This is definitely like dessert, I guess you could say. But the breads are nice and soft. They did toast them, but it smells delicious. It looks delicious, guys. And uh, I have some salsa here. This is their salsa verde. They do have a roja and all the other salsas, but I think I'm just gonna stick with it a little less spicy. Um, and that's about it. So we're gonna get started here just momentarily. Without further ado, we might as well get started. Man, this is actually a, that's a sizable sandwich. They got some, they got some weight to those, them beasts. All right, everybody. Let's get going. We'll say the count of maybe five, four, three, three two, one. one. Definitely gonna need some help with through this, That's guys. That's very good. It's not a church in here. You guys can talk. You guys can clap. Yeah. You can make some noise. Woo! Yeah. What? God knows who needs it. From Coke with the Chuck. freestyle machine. <laughs> Chuck trying to get a shout out. Man. Man, that pork and those refried beans, the flavors, very, very good. Nice. A little spicy from those jalapenos, though. So I'm letting everybody know the food's great. It's not just for show. It's really good. Man. Those are sizable tortas too. These are, you can't just get these at your local taco truck, folks. Let's be honest. Only at, at Bolta do you get them that size with all the fixings. Looks like one torta down and we're, uh, yeah, a minute 15 in, folks. A minute 15 seconds, one torta down. Uh, we did give them a 20 minute time limit on this one just to, just to challenge them a little bit. But uh, I don't think he's gonna need all that. Man. Working up an appetite just watching this guy eat all this food. It's crazy. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we're here at Bullseye Burger at the Firing Center Chevron in Yakima, Washington. Here taking on their Torta Challenge. So this is a awesome and very large Torta Challenge as you can see, uh, featuring a number of their Tortas. And you have some Mexican style rice, you have some refried beans, then you have a giant milkshake. Um, I also had a big bottle of Salsa Verde there, although that is optional. 
They do dress the tortas with the refried beans, salsa verde, tomatoes, lettuce, onions, and then a meat of your choice. I went with El Pastor, and I also got some uh, asada, and uh, yeah, it was super, super delicious. I might even got one chicken one now that I think of it. Um, love the flavors. They have so many different Mexican items here, such as tortas, tacos, burritos, and I gotta say, I've tried all of them now in different challenges, and they are absolutely fantastic, like fantastic. Joel says the food's great. I mean, it's very good. He's not lying. The pork is great. Pork's great, he says. Two tortas down. Two tortas down. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. Just a few bites left. <laughs> Hey, the shake's gonna show up. Oh, uh, he actually winked at the shake earlier and said, You're gonna be mine later. <laughs> you heard him, man. Oh, uh, he broke his slide. Oh, he broke his slide. Oh, Shadow, don't knock you out of your game. Looks like you're gonna be close to the time limit anyway, so <laughs> every second's needed here. How are the jalapenos? A little heat. A little, a little yak and spice in there, huh? A lot of food, though. Yeah. It's really moist and delicious, so it's going down easy, but it doesn't mean it's not a lot. Yeah, that's dope. All that bread. I'm on a low-carb diet. It, does it show yet? No, it's not showing. Oh, okay. Seafood diet. <laughs> See it and eat it. That's the way it goes with Joel. I've been saying it for the last couple days and I found out he's coming back when he hit up Sam and said, he is Mexican food's worst nightmare. I'm telling you. You know this guy's YouTube channel? Dude, burritos have not one chance against this guy. <laughs> Seven pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds burrito, this guy just takes him down. I do him. love Mexican food. <laughs> so I'm having a real treat tonight. <laughs> yeah. Three tortas down, and we are four minutes, four and a half minutes in. Wow. Just keep eating, just keep eating. I feel like it's a flex. He goes to that other glass, he's like filling up with stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not part of the challenge. Yeah, it's like I just add stuff to the challenge when it's not as big as it needs to be. As discussed for the rules of this challenge, you only have 15 minutes to complete the meal. Um, and I would say this would make this a high level intermediate and or maybe expert challenge. Uh, definitely high level intermediate. It's quite a bit of food. I think totaling, you're probably about five pounds of tortas, maybe then the, the rice and the beans, like maybe upwards of six pounds, and then the milkshake. So we'll say at least a good six pounds of food plus the large one liter milkshake. Um, so definitely a lot of food, but I would definitely recommend trying their food in general. Uh, I would say the nice thing as well is there is always an incentive. They have cash prizes on all their challenges. So you're not just getting a free meal of a delicious, delicious food. You're also getting some cash, so which really makes the trials worth it. Um, but I loved it here. I love the experience. Like I said, quite a difficult challenge, but the food was absolutely fantastic. So definitely would recommend stopping on in. And, you know, hey, honestly, if it's worth it. The food is delicious. Worst case, you have some leftovers. And I would say give it a go. Um, but that, let's get to the rest of the video. Just over six minutes in. Very delicious. Thoroughly enjoying it. A little bit of spice in there for sure. But the flavors are fantastic. Definitely filling up. It's hard to eat this much in one sitting so quickly. And then there's that big milkshake. <laughs> so we're going to be in for a bit of a ride. But. Let's do it. We can do that milkshake a ride. Hey, I saw you make it when we got it earlier. And the tortas are gone, guys. Four tortas in, uh, yeah, six and a half minutes, roughly. That's crazy. But it ain't over yet. Still uphill. Have you ever watched a 
watch his videos, he's known for cleaning up the plate. I think he even says better than your grandma would like or as much as your grandma would like on his Facebook. He does not leave any extras. Lalo won't even have to watch that play when you're done with it. It's so funny. <laughs> I have had people ask me to sit in with them for like Thanksgiving, like sub in. So, they, so I can eat all their leftovers and make their grandmother proud. I'm yet to do it yet, but if you want to contact me, my services may be available. Alright. For Thanksgiving, huh? Tortoises are gone. We're coming Tortoises are gone. We're gone eight minutes. We're down to some rice, some refried beans, our milkshake. Woo! All right, let's make this happen. Got you a fork there. If we can open a fork or a spoon, <laughs> there you go. All righty. It's actually a good, it's a good rice too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't make rice like that, but I come here to get it. It's good. Flavorful. Yeah, buddy. We're moving on to the rice and beans. All right, since we gave Chuck the challenge, he has to come down and try this challenge out. <laughs> Chuck's got to come down. Our local, local Coca-Cola representative needs to come down and try the challenge. And give, the, and give me a sponsorship. Right. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. His favorite is the freestyle machine. You can grab one of them freestyle machines and put it in your car somewhere. Okay. Somehow. I would accept. <laughs> you heard it, Chuck. Make it happen. He shovels the rice and beans in, not even halfway to the time limit yet. And he's over three quarters done. Maybe we'll call that no shake one quarter. If you're just joining us, he ate 20 tacos in four minutes before he started this. So, it's not, and he had a five minute uh, buffer there. We are halfway to the time limit. That's the right. The food is gone, and we move on. Yeah, right at, right at nine minutes, 50 seconds, all the food is gone. He's moving on to vanilla. All right, guys, we're about 10 minutes in. Milkshake. Woo. Milkshake. Shout out to this tortoise though. Very delicious. So let's try to get this done. This is a thick, thick, thick milkshake made with whole milk and ice cream. Like it's thick. So. Turn upside down too. <laughs> Almost. 50 percent. That's some real whipped cream too. Ooh. That is good. Putting all that cold milk on top of all that hot Mexican food. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The struggle my body's going through right now is crazy. Ooh. It's more like I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> Brain freeze. Woo! Woo! Unofficially, 10 Whoa. minutes, 51 seconds, and he kills. The new Bullseye Woo! Challenge. As he gets around that brain freeze. Man. That is you guys can do better than that. Make some damn noise in this place. I'm sorry, but make some noise. For the second time. Thank you, thank you. 9.51, I think. 10.51. 10.51. 10.51. Ooh, hold that, everybody. Wow. I'm a little, wow. little, little less frozen now. Very delicious. Shout out to those tortas, shout out all the food, that was great. Very good milkshake as well. Just cold. They got me real good brain freeze there for a minute. Ugh. I'm still kind of recovering from that. It is December, so if we're having milkshakes in December, you might as well. But yeah, I can't say enough, guys. Kind of, I love the items here. As the, our lovely gentleman has said, I love Mexican food. And uh, tortas, tacos, 
burritos, everything I've had here is just absolutely fire. Even the burgers are fantastic. So like I said, 100% would recommend if you're in Yakima or the surrounding area to come on by Bullseye Burgers in the Chevron. Um, super cool location. The place is always busy. You get lots of good faces. You get to meet lots of cool people here, just as I have today. So thank you again for everybody who came on out. It was, uh, Great food, great crowd. I tell you, they, they serve and do Washington well. Um, but that's about that, everybody. So uh, for that, we're gonna know for free, which is cool. I, uh, yeah, like I said, can't really say enough about that. Very delicious. And that's kind of, I don't know, I guess that's mostly it. Just great food, I'd recommend. The staff here are awesome. It is veteran owned. They definitely support our troops, guys. Thank you to all those who serve. And uh, that's pretty much it, you know, so. Back, of course, till next time. Say happy all the hungry, happy eating. Probably have some, maybe some footage of some driving in and around Yakima, which if you're not familiar, is kind of like a desert. You go from like super green Washington to enter the Yakima area, valley, etc., and it's kind of like a desert. It's just the way it is. It's very interesting to see, but uh, it's pretty cool. So until next time, everybody, that's about it. Just have a lovely day. Have a lovely life. Goodbye. And this is the Yakima Valley, guys. Some of the Yakima Valley. So, great big valley, duh, hence the name. But uh, yeah, there's some really high elevations, some scenic points, a couple lookout points um, along here. But the sun is kind of starting to set, so we got some really nice colors here. Um, we are obviously on the descent of a point of elevation of a mountain, I guess, a hill, cliff, hill, valley, whatever it is. But uh, yeah, it's very gorgeous here. It is like a desert, uh, I think we mentioned previously. So right now it looks a little less deserty because all the green vegetation is kind of dead anyway, being in the winter. But yeah, and, and this is kind of even the less deserty part-ish. Like back that way, back the way we just came was even more deserty. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you a couple, you know, sights a little bit of the Yakima Valley and the area, and kind of what you can expect in a way, you know, at least part of it. So yeah, pretty cool. Yakima Valley some of the Yakima Valley anyway. And literally just a few hours after we were in beautiful green Portland, we're in freaking Canada with all the snow on the road. Look at this BS. Blowing snow on the road, falling down, you can see. It's, it's definitely accumulating. Hashtag Canada. People, uh, people wonder what the north looks like, what our Canada looks like. This is it. Pretty much snow year round. Maybe if you're lucky, you won't have snow for a month or two. It's cold. Look at this, the road is all white. You gotta drive slow, definitely drive differently in the snow. And that's it, everybody. Welcome back to Canada. Again, a couple hours after Oregon. Green Oregon. Snowy Canada.